Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video. We have repeating numbers here. So if you have been seeing repeating numbers on clocks, on TV, on Instagram, or any, anywhere you've been seeing repeating numbers, this is going to be the uh, pick a card for you. So if you've been seeing the repeating number 111, or 999. So those are going to be the numbers here. So if you, if you want to choose a group as to the number you've been seeing or any group you just get drawn to or your favorite number, you know, you do whatever you want to do. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to see what sort of signs you've been seeing, why you've been seeing this number repeating, and we're going to get some clarification on that. So let's get started with the reading. Starting off with group number 111. Hello, group number 111. Let's get started into reading. Let's see why you have been seeing this repeating number, okay? So we're going to start off with the Sacred Space Oracle. We have Surrender, number 15, which is beautiful. I love that. And then we also have appreciation, generosity, and we also have Guy's Gateway. So I'm going to have a look into these in a little bit more detail. We're going to get the tarot out, that sort of thing. But for now, this is what we're looking into. Okay, so, so as you can see, there's a lot of purple going on. So this is going to be to do with your crown chakra and your third eye. Okay, so I do feel like you're having a quite a big spiritual awakening right now. I'm going to shift this camera up just slightly so you can see a bit better. So we have the dragon. We have Guy's Gateway, Access Earth's Inner Wisdom. So for you guys, number one is about kind of um, a new start, a new movement forward, that sort of thing. So what's happening is the universe is saying to have to surrender to this kind of energy that's happening. It could be quite overwhelming for you. It could be like, oh my God, like I don't know what's happening. It feels really, really confusing. Um, it could just be that you're having a massive spiritual awakening and the the universe is saying like look you just need to surrender to it we do have a lot of dragons here as well so dragons could be something that are very significant for you you could be seeing those a lot also so we also have the number six as well five and one with six so that is also about kind of change and manifestation and things like that and one 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 is like the start of something new okay it's like a massive shift into something new it's like a new kind of um, mindset that sort of thing a new appreciation for life the way you see life it's going to be slightly different and I feel like you're learning to appreciate your life as it is right now. It's learning to surrender to what it is now and having the um, generosity to give to yourself and say, look, I appreciate you saying this to yourself. I appreciate you and I'm going to be generous to myself and I'm going to give to myself because that's what I need right now. OK, so that is your message. Let's have a look and see what else we're going to get from the tarot. I'm going to see what other messages want to come through. OK, we have the page of pentacles. three of pentacles put this guy here so i feel like for you guys it could be money as an issue for you right now you could be focusing on your money situation you could be thinking okay i need to move forward it may be that you're wanting to start a new beginning um but you're possibly stuck or you are um kind of having the urge to start a new beginning yeah you feel like you feel really stuck so every time you start something it feels like you're taking two steps backwards so what I'm feeling is the best advice to give to you right now is to appreciate the moment right now and be generous of what you can do right now with your time and your energy that sort of thing okay because I feel like it's really really important for you to focus on the energy that's now um obviously you can plan and things like that and you can kind of see what um, you could look forward to, that sort of thing. But I feel like it's really, really important for you to just be generous of yourself um, and to know that things will come in divine timing. So what's happened after the Eight of Swords, please? Beautiful. So you will move forward. You will get the success you want. I do feel like a lot of this is to do with career. So if career isn't what you've been kind of looking for, for um, a new start, it could just mean a new hobby, a new kind of chance for you to take charge of your life, a new... Uh, creative expression you want to express yourself creatively we also have 333 there also so let's see what kind of other energies we've got here and see what kind of chakras you're working on that sort of thing okay heart chakra i did think that so i do feel like your heart chakra is being triggered also and pretty much all your chakras with calcite here so this is basically you realigning yourself spiritually and kind of getting you're probably going to get quite a few downloads as well especially if you are very very intuitive if you are very empathetic 
and we have with the teach you could be teaching yourself or you could be you could be a student or you could be wanting to teach um but you're also teaching your heart to open and accept what is right now and to not and to get balance with that as well kind of balancing out your heart of your head saying okay what's like the best movement forward okay what else have we got for group number one 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 group Okay, we have egotism. So it's literally not getting in your own way. That's pretty much what that's about. It's just making sure you're not getting in your own way. Well, these cards are flying out. Okay, we have, sorry guys, you can hear my stomach grumbling. It always does that when I'm, when I'm doing readings. So we have principle, we have escape, and we also have um, impulsiveness. So this is you wanting to move forward and get that ideal kind of job, that ideal um, manifestation. So I do feel like this energy is going to shift, okay, guys? Basically, what they're saying is you just need to wait a bit longer, and you need to actually decide what is it that you want to do. So you could have the um, you could have the energy of wanting to escape as well and kind of get out of where you are, but actually they're saying you need to actually go through this and feel into this energy, what is this teaching you, okay? And with the impulsiveness, it's like, okay, I just want to do it now, I just want to do it now, 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 now. <laughs> Okay, that's not the energy we're here for, guys. We need to kind of like take it slow. And I know you don't want to, but we're going to take it slow. Okay, so that is your little message for uh, that. We're going to pull some dice for you as well and see what else you're focusing on for 111. Okay, it's definitely about stability. It's definitely about career, the home, that sort of thing. And it's definitely about you opening up spiritually. So you could be wanting a spiritual job, but you're kind of debating, okay, but I need my nine to five to get me through. So maybe you're just clearing out an old job maybe you're thinking about clearing out an old job that sort of thing okay uh, i do feel like new stuff is coming in for you and new manifestations are coming in it's just literally divine timing okay so thank you so much for watching this reading if you want a personal reading all my information is down below i'm now offering past life readings i've got some love readings down there general all that jazz so uh link down below i'm also working on some jewelry so i'm going to be featuring this in my readings as well so Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Number 222, let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you need to know and why you keep seeing number 222, okay? So from my experience and what I've kind of learned throughout the uh, months and years, 222 is about partnership. It's about balance. It's about trying to get a hold of the uh, kind of masculine and the feminine. It's also to do with your balance of, like, you know, your spirituality and your mental health and your emotional health, that sort of thing, okay? So I'm just going to tuck these in here because they keep whacking against my table. <laughs> okay, so let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you have. So we're going to start off with this card here. We have imagination, which is beautiful. So there's definitely a lot of light energy coming in for you. It's kind of helping you to manifest what you want to manifest, bravery. And we also have thoughtfulness. I love that. And we also have, you are the light. It's safe to step fully into your light. So we're going to have a look into these cards a little bit in a little bit more detail with tarot and things like that. But for now, this is kind of the energy that we have here. So basically, there is an energy of really stepping into who you are. It's about actually being who you are as your personality, not buffering yourself, not changing yourself, really being who you are and actually... Um, manifesting that on a physical level so actually bringing that to the forefront and being like no I'm not gonna uh, buffer myself I'm not gonna be almost a doormat you know I don't like the word doormat but that's what's coming through um, I'm gonna actually put myself first I'm gonna imagine the life that I actually really really want to have I hope you can see that guys these cards are quite light um, so and having like the energy to actually move forward with this and really kind of use this energy to shift you forward to that okay so thoughtfulness is kind of making me feel like you need to be more thoughtful with your energy. You possibly need to be more thoughtful with who you give your energy to. Um, it could be what you actually what you actually give your energy to. It could be like a career. It could be your um, your mind, your thoughts, a certain person, a certain energy. It could be food. It could be um, an addiction, that sort of thing. And actually learn to balance that out, okay? And learn to balance out those um, those lessons there, okay? So for some of you guys, I see an, a diet change. You could be doing the bone broth kind of situation thing. You could be doing that. You could be t um, drinking more water. You could be that sort of thing. And if you're not doing any of those things and you're kind of thinking, oh, maybe I should go on a diet or maybe, not in a sense of diet of like um, losing weight, it could be, but I feel like it's more to do with actually just cleansing out your body and cleansing out what doesn't serve you anymore. Um, I really, really feel that for you guys, okay? So we're going to see what else wants to come through. We're going to pull from the tarot first. We're going to see what else uh, 222 needs to, oh, needs to know. 
king of swords yeah it's really asserting yourself guys actually bringing in that masculine energy and saying how you really feel really expressing how you feel oh beautiful there's definitely a partnership coming in here you could be an air sign with another air sign but it could just be two um it could be your masculine and your feminine coming together it can also mean your um energy of um so if you're a female wanting a male or a male wanting a female that's that but it's also we're all masculine and feminine energy guys so whatever you ha don't feel like you have in your body right now whatever you don't feel like you have in your life right now that is what you're manifesting okay so you're manifesting communication from somebody who may have done you wrong as well i feel like that's possibly coming through they're saying to rewrite the past and when they say rewrite they don't mean to completely ignore it they mean to say that you you're kind of um thinking about the past and you're thinking okay so how can i move forward from this okay we have one more I just realized I need to change my calendar. <laughs> I don't know if you guys need to change your calendar, but I just realized that. So definitely balance. <laughs> I'm feeling that for you guys. Um, balancing out your commu communication style as well. Being more forthright with how you speak to people and actually giving your opinion across in a, in a nice way where you're not like being really mean about it, but you just want to get your opinion across. You stepping into your power. This is really you stepping into your power and not letting people overrule you. Okay, with this uh, eight of swords here. So we also have the three of cups so you're going to have happiness you're going to have celebration it feels like this is this has come from the two of cups okay yeah releasing some stuff it feels like this has come from the two of cups so i feel like you guys are um gaining that balance and because you're gaining that balance in whatever area of life that i've mentioned or you're thinking of you're going to have happiness because you're consciously creating that balance okay and then the moon is basically saying that whatever energy is coming up whatever emotions nostalgia anything like that just let it move through, let it move through. And you're probably man manifesting a career as well or manifesting something that's going to give you a lot of financial gain or a lot of abundance, whatever that means for you. It doesn't have to be money. Okay, we have a fair, beautiful, this is love. Love is coming in. This is, there's a song called This Is Love. So this is love. Mm -hmm. What is that song? Is that from Cinderella? Is that from Cinderella? I think it's from Cinderella, I'm pretty sure. You do that away from the microphone. Sorry, guys, that shuffling was really loud. We have risk. Yeah, there's definitely a risk you'll mean to take. Somebody, you might be meeting someone new and it may be a risk. You may think, oh, Jesus Christ, all my feelings are coming up for this person. Um, I'm hearing, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I don't know if I can do this. Here we go. Companionship. Definitely love coming in for you guys. Definitely, definitely. So we have exaltation, which is perfect, absolute abundance, absolute happiness flattery you're feeling really good we have caution choice defense so <clears throat> there's definitely somebody coming in and you may feel like you can't kind of be with them because it's something that is very like intense and you may think oh they might be a bit manipulative or you may be manipulating your own mind to stop yourself from being with this person but it's actually a really really good relationship i'm feeling and obviously if there is any manipulation in any any relationship you're in they're telling you to get rid of that and get balanced so you can manifest <clears throat> this really lovely person so let's get the last message for you guys let's get the last message for you guys direction heart chakra yep going in the direction of your heart actually listening to your heart i'm hearing actually listen to your heart this time sometimes you guys don't think with your heart you think with your head which is totally fine nothing wrong with that we also have family as well so this could be as i say a new family member could even be a child coming in but I feel like it's more to do with relationships here with this group and manifesting that balance, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you like this reading. And if you want a personal reading, all my information is down below. And if you want to purchase any crystal necklaces or anything like that, if you're interested in like pre-ordering them, I will be releasing some through readings, like pick a cards and personal readings. But I haven't got a full-on shop yet. So if you're ever interested, let me know. I made this last night up. I'm very proud. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, 333. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see why you are seeing 333. Okay, right. What have we got here? Diamond light activation. Light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open and to receive and welcome them in. We then have elegance, dreams, and birth. Beautiful. So you guys are going for a massive, massive rebirth. I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring my lighting down a little bit. Can you see that? My stomach is rumbling. 
you see that guys hopefully you can see that but it's really beautiful it's basically got this really lovely opening and it's really kind of drawing you into this new start and i think with this diamond light activation you're being activated so you can move forward and shift on a really beautiful energetic basis so you have a lot of dreams that you want to accomplish whether that's relationship whether that's personal whether it's it could be anything okay i'm hearing it could even be to do with your garden it could be like i have dreams of like a beautiful garden or i have dreams of like a really neat garden you know something like that so it could be that, but it, it's, it's basically you um, really accepting your lighter side. You could be very sensitive, you could be an empath, you could be a psychic, all of those as well. So you're really um, embracing your uh, your lighter side and not being so hard on yourself for that, okay? Not being hard on yourself for being like that as a person and really kind of opening yourself up to um, being yourself and being your authentic self and with this white flowers these are lilies i'm really really being drawn to them so if you're being drawn to lilies that is an extra clarification for you the new you is coming in with this birth the new you is being born so whatever is you're going through right now that is one of the reasons why okay you're really opening yourself up to newness and you've been working really really hard you're probably working really hard on your craft on your work on yourself and the universe, my legs are tingling, so that's confirmation. You guys are really, wow, you guys are really manifesting some good shit here. <laughs> um, this is really, really beautiful. Could be a past life person come back from the past as well. Could be a past life relationship coming in. It could also be a past life person, like a, sorry, a past person coming in. Could be thinking about children. You could be having an actual birth, you could be. Um, and I hope you're safe at the moment with that. I hope you go through really, really well and you have a good birth if you are pregnant. Those of you I see maybe you want to be pregnant. I feel for you, those of you who this isn't like a, um, like a accidental pregnancy. Like I don't say, I don't like saying the word accidental because it's never accidental. But if this is that, then I don't see that happening. I see is it like a planned pregnancy or it is a, a surprise. They're saying a surprise pregnancy. It's not that it's definitely something you've planned right you guys are definitely releasing a lot of old energy this could also be past life stuff coming up and coming out and you're releasing a lot of heartbreak because you're manifesting a really beautiful balance within your life if you want a lot of, a, a love relationship that is coming in if you want a new friendship that's also coming in it's someone who you can trust it's someone who's going to be on the exact same journey as you and you're going to be so made for each other okay so we have some lovely energy. We've got some Pisces energy, very light, very fluffy. I love that. Very, like, like this card, it says it has blue and pink. I'm really sensing that for you guys. Very light energy. We then have the King of Pentacles. So someone who is grounded, someone who is going to manifest in a really, really nice, healthy way. Long-term relationship, long-term friendship. Someone who's going to keep you stable. We also have the Hermit. So you're really, if you're in this Hermit mode right now, you could be in this Hermit mode. But if you're kind of coming out and you're feeling the need to kind of do things more externally, obviously within reason with these boundaries right now, obviously this is a timeless reading. So um, whenever you're watching this, but within the restrictions that you have, you're learning to release anything that no longer serves you, no longer feels, no longer resonates with you. It can be a diet, it can be your friends, it can be um, the way you assert yourself. It can literally be absolutely anything. For those of you who are coming out of the hermit mode, you're really, really coming out of the hermit mode, okay? You are almost like the butterfly where you're really kind of expressing yourself and you're gonna get and manifest your dreams because you're working towards that. So if life feels difficult, if it feels hard, if it feels tough, that is okay. That is what's meant to happen because you're meant to move through this and out the other side, a massive rebirth coming through. Queen of Wands, perfect. You're gonna feel really, really powerful and really, really strong with these activations. It may take a lot of strength, but you're going to get judgment, okay? You're going to get what you desire. Let's pull one more card. Yeah, so it may feel really, really tough right now, but you may be manifesting a, a fire sign as well. So you are getting there, guys. You really, really are getting there, okay? So just don't be so hard on yourself, and you are going to manifest what you want to manifest. Okay, what else in number three? Manifesting, please, here with the number 33 manipulation so you're moving away from that you're learning to not manipulate yourself your body just to get something that's short term resistant yeah you learn to be less resistant guys you could be a fixed sign watching this taurus leo um i'm hearing virgo and capricorn as well so a lot of earth signs i feel like are watching this reading uh you could be taurus leo aquarius or scorpio we then have escape so you may want to escape you may want to get rid of this you may just or you may just be um you're just releasing a lot of stuff and it could be quite scary 
but you're going to be fine guys you're going to be absolutely fine this is meant to happen this is absolutely meant to happen you're meant to go through the darkness <clears throat> excuse me to get through the light and we have a diamond light activation so this is meant to happen this light is, is coming in to trigger you to bring you up and forward you could have already been triggered you could have you could be um yeah, you could have already been triggered or it could be quite a long time ago that you were triggered and it's basically just the remnants of that coming through so you'll learn to be more gentle to yourself we have revenge so you may be feeling quite revengeful because there may be something that is kind of making you feel like you want to go into your shell you may want to be um it could be a scorpio or a cancer here as well we've got pisces got scorpio again and taurus very strong scorpio energy here this is interesting because um 333 is my number as well which comes up a lot in my life so and i'm a scorpio so that's beautiful obviously we do have that with the death cards there's definitely a lot of resistance to change resistance to this new stuff coming in this is meant to happen guys this really is i'm going to keep repeating that until it goes into one of you guys' heads <laughs> so everything is happening for a reason and i'm feeling you're really um going into your passions you're really going into what serves you and you're meant to do this well definitely going to have a lot of commitment coming in for you guys if you want a relationship you're going to get it okay um, and you're going to have relationships that you can trust okay with the lepidolite and the garnet you're going to have relationships that you trust that you're committed to that's long term that you want that you actually want not for something that's short term not for like a one night stand nothing like that you're going to have committed relationships that you really 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 love garnet is one of my favorite crystals i've actually had that near my near my bed and it's been really really helpful i also love lepidolite it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and then we have bloodstone exactly that this is a death card right here detoxifying root heart and sacral chakra we also have the third eye crown heart and sacral so you're literally clearing everything from top to bottom okay so let's pull you some dice and then we will be done right so we have taurus venus oh no sorry yeah it is venus no Yes, sorry. Sometimes I get confused with Mercury and Venus. So we have Venus, Taurus, ninth house. Okay, so this is all about you channeling that fixed energy and you're really connecting to your your own like drive, the drive to go forward, okay? Um, and I really feel like you guys are releasing, as I say, ev releasing everything that no longer serves you. Um, and you probably don't want to do this, a lot of you guys. It probably feels like, it feels like quite stubborn. Um, but I feel like this is the energy of really having to make everything simple um, and believing that everything's going to be okay. Um, and basically the ninth house is about having quite strong opinions. It's having intuition, religion, it's about um, philosophy. So you could have a certain way of doing things and basically now you're having to change that. But you're going towards things that you really, really love. You could be um, want, um, having a relationship with the Taurus as well. Um, but what's coming through is that you're loving stability. You're learning to love stability. And even though, and we always want stability, but sometimes it can be quite hard to find or grasp because of our upbringing. But that's your reading, guys. So you'll learn to love life and be stable. So thank you so much for watching. If you want a private reading, all my information is down below. And I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number 444. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you guys need to know. And yeah, let's get started. So let's see why you've been seeing 444 okay so we have trust <laughs> i love that so much that's so accurate for four like that's just, that just really sums it up okay we have wisdom this is a very mature group i feel like you guys are very mature and we have peace beautiful and then we have tenderness so show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven okay so this energy right here is asking you to really stay calm within the energy that you're feeling okay and learn to trust the energy that's moving you forward so i feel like you guys are very wise and a lot of you guys are going through a very very strong period of wisdom you're learning to accept yourself who you are and you're being really really wise within the process because of what you're going through it's going to cause you to be even more wise and it's very much a spiritual awakening for you guys 
444 is stability. This is my favorite number. I love it. It's about stability. It's about long term. It's um, I always get the this message is always this message always comes through from my guys. They always say stable table. They like to rhyme. So obviously when you get an image of a table, um, it's got four legs. And if you cut one of the legs off, it's not stable anymore. So basically you need those four posts to to bring it all together and to actually hold it up. So it's basically you holding yourself up through this process and supporting yourself, okay? And you are going in the right direction. It may not feel like it, but you actually are going in the right direction, guys. And you're learning to create peace within your life and peace and stability kind of go hand in hand. So you are going to actually manifest those things that you want and you are going to get the peace that you deserve. And actually just being really tender to yourself and just having compassion for yourself. There may be somebody or something that you need to forgive and you may not even know what this is yet and you may not may not ever know maybe it's you've already gone through this energy but for some of you guys who may have a little bit of um, anxiety depression uh, anxiousness stress towards a situation or something um, I always acknowledge and release that will help you so this is how you do it you say I acknowledge part of me feeling whatever so I acknowledge part of me feeling angry about my ex and how he treated me and I choose to let these feelings flow right now you put your hand on your heart take a deep breath in out and then you look kindly at yourself like you would a child or a puppy or a kitten <laughs> and then you look at your sh right shoulder I look at, I look at my right shoulder you look at whatever you want you can look forward whatever and then you just release and then that's how you do it so you just let it flow every emotion that comes up just let it flow let it come in and let it flow there's definitely an element of stress for this group a lot of guys a lot of you guys are going through stress which is obviously quite accurate for what's going on right now this is a, a timeless reading, so wherever you're feeling this, guys, you may be feeling quite a similar energy, but it might not be external right now. You're not, you might not be worried about the external forces. Maybe you are. Maybe you're worried about your job. Maybe you're worried about a relationship that's happening, that sort of thing. But look at this. This is ultimate stability. You guys are most likely going to be going through or have been going through quite a slow process, okay? Things have been quite slow for you because you are manifesting the thing that you really, 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 really want. And sometimes... It can take longer than what we want, <laughs> which is the annoying thing, but sometimes it can take longer than what we want. Sorry guys, if you heard my elbow, it was my elbow against the table, I did not fart, okay? Beautiful, look at this. This is what you're manifesting, this is what you're going towards. You're going towards um, filling up your own cup, like you are filling up your own cup, you are learning to put yourself first. I've got a really itchy leg. <laughs> um, you learn to go towards stability okay and you are manifesting it guys you may not feel like it but you are and you're gonna this the hierophant here oh my heart is opening i'm having a lot of heart opening things today um the hierophant is you kind of standing in your ground and saying look i'm gonna manifest this i'm gonna go towards i'm gonna put all my effort into it and you are going to manifest something and someone maybe you could be manifesting a an earth sign could be manifesting just stable relationships that suit you perfect you're feeling really empowered whether you're single whether you're in a relationship whether you want a relationship you're feeling empowered in this energy and your your intuition is going to be super high super super high because you've got that stability and you need to meditate guys this group needs to meditate <laughs> um to get more stability in your life meditation could just be a really good thing for you okay underneath the deck two of pentacles in reverse beautiful you're balancing out you're learning okay what is it that i need in this moment right now being gentle with yourself and some of you guys you could be triggered from past energy that comes up could be nostalgia could be dreams about your ex could be dreams about your past friends anything like that let it come through because this stuff is charging at you so you can release it because you're ready for the next stage okay which is lovely you're releasing a lot of this neglect a lot of this abandonment if you have abandonment issues or anything to do with feeling isolated or like you can't trust that is going anything that is stopping you from manifesting where you're going that is where you're going because you're you, you need to trust guys you just need to trust in this energy whoa what card do you want on this one perfect you guys are being very creative this is this creativity is helping you to uh, to manifest and pr to release the past which is really good and obviously when we release the past it's oh god it doesn't mean that it's insignificant guys it just means that um you're ready to move forward okay you're really ready to move forward what else what else is coming through what else wants to come through
can you give me another card please there it is revenge so you may feel revengeful towards somebody or something but it could also be that you don't want to um acknowledge these feelings which is totally fine or there could have been somebody who was really horrible to you and they could be their energy could be coming back or they could be manifesting back into your life and that's totally fine because you are learning to be independent this is the uh, moon in aquarius so you're learning to be independent by yourself um without anyone and that can actually cause a lot of uncomfortableness and look we have i'm pretty sure this must be aquarius here because we've got pretty very similar cards here so you'll really learn to become independent within your own energy you don't need to rely on anything else or anyone else and this is causing massive achievement especially in your work life as well um and just take it slowly you just need to look after yourself you could be manifesting um a, definitely a partner for some of you guys i'm looking at these two these two coming together like these two people having a nice little cozy time together so i feel like for those of you who are wanting that sort of relationship it's coming in obviously no revenge i'm not talking about the revenge part yeah and you'll learn you're actually going to get a lot of status out of this because where you're stable the universe is like okay this person is ready for this they're ready for the fame or they're ready for success they're ready for whatever is coming in i feel like this i don't know if this is a sphinx it kind of looks like a dog but for some reason i'm getting an egyptian past life coming through so if any of you guys want a past life reading they are available they'll be down below hopefully if i remember to put them there <laughs> okay last card rebellion beautiful so a lot of you guys are learning to say that actually my past doesn't define me and a lot of i'm hearing you pointing at your i'm seeing you pointing at your family for some of you guys you're saying i'm not you i'm not the lot of you i'm changing my life i don't have to be like everyone else i'm going to be myself beautiful oh my god so exciting sexual relationship <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry guys i get really excited when that card comes up um so that's beautiful you're learning to like just be your freaking self be your freaky self yeah just really expressing yourself and not having to answer to anybody okay moonstone moon cycles crown chakra you are most likely going to be affected by the moon for a lot of you guys okay so look out for that oh beautiful we have animals solar plexus this is all about your anxiety coming up coming out really being passionate and being concrete within yourself and problems resolved resolving problems within yourself resolving problems within your anxiety and confusion and just really going for it perfect you could be wanting a family you could be connecting with your family close i mean we're connecting with our family closer more than ever really at the moment um but you could be saying actually i don't want to be like my family or i do want to be my, like my family or my family are a really good influence you know various different messages coming through for a lot of you guys it can be releasing your your family releasing religion or releasing uh or any religion that you don't want to have that sort of thing like breaking the chains i'm hearing so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this reading don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up that really helps the uh video get seen and if you would like to subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate it if you haven't already all my private readings are down below and i'll speak to you very soon much love Hi. Hello, number 555. Let's see why you have been seeing this repeating number and what the messages are for you today. So if you can hear like creaking, it's my elbow on the table. <laughs> All right. So main message for you guys is self-worth. Beautiful. That is such a strong energy. That actually is the number five. It's four and one. <laughs> I love that. Sensitive soul. Strengthen your boundaries and cut cords. Beautiful. I love this. This color coloring is so gorgeous. Oh, I'm actually going to put that down there. Sorry, guys, because I'm going to put these two here so we have beauty lovely orchid and love the orchid and we also have gratitude so being grateful for where you are right now and actually looking at yourself and thinking i am beautiful i am gorgeous and actually affirming these things like in the moment right now like i am gorgeous i appreciate myself i love my skin i love my hair i love my body i love my boobs i love my bum i love my legs i love my feet you know all those things that you don't like about yourself or you really need to kind of bring that in because there could be something that's possibly causing you a little bit of a blockage it could be um your confidence but there's definitely a lot of purple here so a lot of you guys are very spiritual you, a lot of you guys are having a spiritual awakening um and also spirituality might be kind of um i'm feeling like some of you guys are like this and you're kind of like um spirituality is kind of causing you to break out of that and become more open to who you are and actually just letting yourself be yourself and not letting other people tell you who you are or what you can be um and at the moment we're with our families a lot obviously this is a timeless reading whenever you're watching this but this moment in time we are with our families a lot and it can be quite detrimental for ourselves 
for our for our health for our self-worth because we're not in the proximity with our family for this long length of time so make sure to get your own space make sure to get away from people manifest that space um and when i say manifest that space i mean create a space for yourself without anyone in that space even if it's, if it's for 10 minutes and just give yourself that time and also maybe buy yourself some flowers if you can um and get your get your space more lively i actually have some beautiful daffodils which need to be put in more water but look how pretty oh, love them i can't look, that one looks dead it's not <laughs> they're very new i bought them uh yesterday i love them so pretty so yeah definitely get yourself some flowers it really really helps especially around this time of spring airy season yes okay so let's see what else you can also be a very uh, sensitive soul and there could be some cord cutting you need to do with certain people um some cord cutting advice is uh my mother taught me that if you sit you imagine that you're sitting opposite that person in a figure of eight and you have a cord between you two sometimes you can get you can ask archangel, archangel michael with his sword to cut the sword you can do it with scissors you can do it with a knife you do whatever you want sometimes i literally just do that to help me imagine it because sometimes it can be quite hard especially if your mind does not want to let go of that person and you can do it as many times as you want and then you can like do that really in and then you can rub your heart that's a way of doing it it's just do it however way you want to do it. you can always google how to cut cords i'm sure there's a lot of information uh, out there to help you with that so we have the ace of pentacles the sun's coming through yay sun 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 here it comes Jeez. okay got the king of cups i feel like this might be in the reverse so we're going to put him in the reverse today sorry guys adjusting myself my crystal oh, crystals on my lap and sometimes they fall off so beautiful this is lovely so you're letting go of some sort of connection with a male it can be a male water sign um it can literally be your masculine side is, is getting a little bit of a little bit of a beating right now it could be because you cannot go out to work it could be because you're struggling with work um struggling with self-worth and that can cause um you to become more in your feminine energy where you become more in your shell and less feeling less powerful this is where we want to be we want to be in the high priestess energy so what is happening is you're releasing something that no longer serves you could be somebody who's quite assertive someone who is quite um intense could be to do with your work as well could be to do with school college uni um you're releasing that you may not be actually aware of that you're releasing this so just kind of take it as it resonates but some things are coming back from the past there's a lot of nostalgia energy coming in yeah it could be a very conflict conflictual com like a relationship with a lot of conflict in it and you're you're becoming more of a high priestess in the in the um in the environment and you're learning to say look i don't need this anymore I'm gonna really gonna let you go or you're just gonna take time away from this person have a break if you can um and you're really working hard on your self-worth you're working hard on your health your love life on your mind i'm hearing your mental health so you could be meditating quite a bit i'm going to put these up here so you guys can see them a bit better but the high priestess is very spiritual and um and hearing intentional and intuitive so yeah there's definitely some sort of childhood trauma as well coming through um it could be somebody from your past life that you may not even have met yet and you may actually be releasing them before you meet before you have actually met them because obviously we don't we're not always meant to meet everyone we're meant to meet because obviously if we've already healed that part of us we don't need that lesson coming in so a lot of you guys could be doing that but also there could be a lot of childhood stuff that you need to resolve um or could just be resolving right now without even knowing there's obviously a lot of subconscious stuff um i'm hearing playing with barbies so it could be something you're you could be like doing more um childlike things at the moment really getting into your childhood really connecting with that childhood energy okay we have choice and we have impulsiveness a lot of you guys want to move forward but you can't you're stuck with choice or you have too much choice and there could be a lot of extreme energy this is really making me feel like a masculine is kind of being really mean to a feminine so however this resonates for you guys it could be like a child a dad uh, to a child it could be your father figure it could be a granddad it could be anything but it feels very extreme it feels like i'm going to force my opinion on you and it doesn't have to be a father figure it can literally just be a certain person but i'm hearing they think they're right so it could be something like that but just bear this in mind guys just keep it as it resonates sorry take it as it resonates okay but i do feel like there's going to be good stuff on the other side yeah this is beautiful so we have optimism 
So you're really moving to, you're literally clearing out your, I'm hearing you're clearing out the clouds so you can see the sunshine. That is literally what is going on right now. And because you're very sensitive, you can suck up people's energies really quickly. So just be aware of that. We're going to have friendship with assertion. You could um, be meeting a new friend out of this situation. Um, you could be asserting yourself towards a friend. You could be letting go of, of a friend. This could be a friend as well. Um, but also you've got your friends to support you. And if you don't have any friends right now in your life who are supportive, uh, let them go. Or if you don't really have a lot of friends right now, you will manifest that and that's what's coming in for you guys, okay? So obviously, as I say, take it as it resonates. Let's get one more card. Good luck, heart chakra, this is beautiful. This is basically massive amount of luck coming in with your heart chakra. If you're really looking into your heart, keep, keep going because you need to just trust in this energy because you're going towards something you really love and that's causing you a lot of pain because you're having to go through a lot of this energy right now. I don't know why I put those away. Um, you're going through a lot of energy right now, okay? So just bear with the energy, you're gonna be fine. Okay, let's get you some dice. Okay, we have Cancer, Jupiter, 11th house. This is you finding friends who are on your wavelength. This is you possibly being part of a group that you really, really love, um, finding your tribe, that sort of thing, being a part of a community that you really, really like. So thank you for watching this reading. If you want to subscribe, if you haven't already, please do. If you want to like this video, please do. That really helps me out. Uh, comment down below if you'd like to. And also all my private readings are down below. I'm doing past life readings now, along with all my other readings. So if you ever want to get one of those, they're all down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, grid number 666. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see why you keep seeing the number 666. I'm hearing this is not the devil. <laughs> This is not Satan. I'm pretty sure that's like the satanic number or something. It's not. Okay, guys. If anything, it's transformation. <laughs> okay. Wow. Vision. Beautiful. I love that. That is such like solar plexus sacral energy right there. Really, really, really connecting with your dreams. Beautiful. We then have Joy. Oh, I love that. Gerbera Daisy. That's really pretty. Sorry, that's the, the flower that's on there. And we also have confidence, lovely. This is all about confidence. This is you being rooted. This is a root chakra here as well. Okay, we have soul tribe, it's safe to be seen. So if you guys, um, this is all about your confidence. This is all about you extending yourself to create new friendships. This is you being confident. And I feel like this group is actually pretty happy. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're you're in a pretty good state. I feel like if you're not in a good state, obviously that's not that part's not gonna resonate with you. But for a lot of you, if you're not going, if you're not feeling good, you are going towards love. And I really like the fact that we have red and red, very, very root chakra energy. So you're really trying to get grounded. You are manifesting um, your desires. You're really kind of going forward and feeling very confident within yourself. Um, you're manifesting your soul tribe. And because you are grounded and because you're learned to be grounded, you are more able to manifest, um, sorry, you're more able to manifest what you want um, because you are in a rooted, uh, safe place. And it's safe to be seen, guys. It's safe to be seen as you are. It's safe to be who you are. And it's safe to be um, yourself. Okay? Beautiful. Really releasing a lot of old shit that you do not need anymore. Goodbye. I'm seeing you emptying a shopping cart. You're literally, you're filled up with all this stuff that you think you need. And you're literally grabbing it. And you're just like tipping it. Um, you're literally, it's like a trolley. Not not like a, a, like a basket. Like a whole trolley. You're literally just tipping it up. Like, nope, don't need it. And you're walking away. It's like all the stuff you think you need, possibly out of panic, um, possibly out of, um, <clears throat> possibly out of like safety. You don't need it. So it can be friendships. It can be literal items. It can be um, overspending, overdoing it, rushing, I'm hearing rushing. Okay, very Aries energy. This is very Aries energy. We are in Aries season while I'm recording this. This is a timeless reading though. So um, yeah, very beautiful. So you're learning to become more empowered with yourself. You're possibly manifesting a new career if that's something that you are looking for. Something that really makes you happy, makes you feel less anxious than what you have felt, making you get that stability coming in. If anything, this actually reminds you of 444 because there's a lot of stability and root chakra energy here, feeling rooted, feeling grounded. The more you feel confident, the more joy you have, the more confident you feel, you feel the more manifesting you're going to have, okay? The more you're going, going to manifest. Perfect. There's definitely a relationship in this group. We have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. You're balancing your masculine and your feminine, and that's very, very powerful. Because if you can balance your feminine and your masculine, you are onto a winner. Because your feminine is about love, it's about acceptance, it's about birth, it's about uh, femininity. Male is about action, it's about goals, it's about um, 
forward movement. If you can get those two com combined together, boom. Beautiful. Also, if you guys want to get some Boji stones, definitely go get some because that, that will help you balance your masculine and your feminine. Beautiful. You are definitely manifesting a relationship. This, don't listen to this guy, okay? This guy is your ego. It's the person that says, it's the part of you that says you're not going to get a relationship. You're not going to get balance. You're not going to have happiness. All of those things, okay? You are going to get that. You guys are mostly going to be manifesting a fire sign, I feel like. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, for those of you who are Sagittarius, Aries or Leo, extra information for you, extra clarification. Um, obviously, if you are in a relationship, you could just be um, really working on that. And you're really, um, you may be sharing a bank account as well for you guys. With a high priestess, this is telling you to be in your power. You can do this. You are strong. You're confident. Positive affirmations are going to really, really help you with this. Okay. I, I'm hearing I see the light. And we got a, a... Oh, it could be to do with that song from Tangled. I am hearing that. I'm hearing the do-do-do bit at the start. I'm really feeling that. But some of you guys, I don't know if you're going to get a Buddha statue. But I keep looking at my little Buddha here. And he's... Um, I don't know if you're going to get a Buddha statue. I'm going to show you what this is. It's this little guy here. I don't know if you're going to get a Buddha statue, but I'm reconnecting with this guy. It actually looks really good with my cauldron. Maybe I should use this more often in my readings. Okay, let's see what else we have. Group number 666. Publicity, beautiful. The success that you desire, the success that you want. That's really cool. We then have innovation. You are really at, you're going towards your dreams. You're actually moving towards that now. You're not just saying, oh, I'll do that later, you know. And we have devotion. You are so devoted to this path. You're so, so, so devoted. And um, you may have had some falls. You may have had a few relationships that were really kind of bad for you or felt bad or weren't concrete. That's no more, girl. It's no more. <clears throat> We then have defense okay let's just clarify this exhortation so you think i feel like you're moving away from that i said that really weird i feel like you're moving away from that i'm hearing the wall of fame some of you guys want to be famous some of you guys want to be well known and you are going to be keep concentrating on your goals guys keep going forward keep concentrating on where you want to be because you are going to manifest it okay this is extra clarification you are going to manifest it you are on the right path and some of you guys, you could be it's something to do with your lips. It could be something to do with talking, speaking, your, th your uh, throat chakra. Something to do with your lips as well. You could have quite large lips or you could... Something to do with lipstick or makeup, something like that. And then we have loss. So you have had quite a lot of loss in your life, guys. But look how beautiful this is. This is like, okay, my relationship's come in. Now I'm scared. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, I don't know. But yeah, this is beautiful. Okay, this is so, so, so beautiful. Don't listen to your ego. Don't listen to that part of you. It's like, no, you're not going to manifest anything. Don't listen, you know, really don't listen to it. What else do we have here? Connect third iron crown chakra apophyllite. I love apophyllite. It's stunning, absolutely stunning. So you're really connecting to your heart, your, um, <coughs> sorry guys, your third eye. Really tapping in spiritually, look at that. Business sacral chakra. That is the same colour. <laughs> That is stunning, beautiful. So you're really concentrating on your business on what you really want to manifest. Okay, we have Neptune, Cancer, Seven House. A lot of you guys could be in a, in a relationship with a Pisces, a Cancer, or manifesting a relationship with a Pisces or Cancer. Um, you could be, I feel like you're manifesting a lot of good relationships here, a lot of relationships that you love, that are balanced, that are um, strong, that are um, long-term. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you want a private reading, all my information is down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, 777. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you are manifesting. Okay, and let's see why you keep seeing 777. If you hear creaking, that is my elbow on the table. Beautiful. We have number three, potential. I love the colour of this. It's so deep and, oh, love it. We then have tranquility and ambition <clears throat> excuse me and then we have fox shadow work there are no shadows without light can you see how dark this is up here really similar coloring to this so what this is basically saying is you're gonna get um the the shadows that you're going through the deep parts of you that you're going through is bringing you potential for growth okay it's creativity creativity is going to basically i'm hearing creativity is going to basically save you okay so if you need to get creative just freaking do it you know, um, 
get into your childlike energy and really channel that okay so we have tranquility and ambition so you're basically a lot of you possibly planning what you want to do in the future what you want to manifest um you're really really bringing in that ambition you're very ambitious about your future um for a lot of you guys you, as i say you could be going for a lot of shadow work so there aren't shadows without light so i love how we've got the light here right at the right at the bottom here where the seeds are growing so there is massive 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 amounts of potential for you guys to move forward and this box here is extra clarification that you guys are going to get through it and if you're having a bit of a hard time that's totally fine you're meant to go through this okay but for some of you who are having a pretty good time you're just you're just basically relaxing and you're really um working on those things that you want to manifest okay so 777 why are we seeing 777 Okay, we have number seven, <laughs> seven of swords. So things can be feeling really tough right now. I think a lot of you guys are possibly going through a lot of stress, anxiety, gossip with other people, people could be gossiping about you. Um, we have the hermit. So a lot of you guys, right, so a lot of you guys are feeling intense, feeling really intense emotions and you're having to go internally. I'm getting a lot of swords here. So um, it could be a lot of internal energy, just like a lot of internal um, voices basically saying like okay we've just got to take a break a lot of you guys just really take a break some of you guys are working too hard like you're doing you're doing too many things and you're rushing yourself you don't need to rush yourself because this whatever this source energy it's going to transmute into a beautiful communication it's trying to, going to transmute into some beautiful abundance you've just got to take your time it's okay you don't have to rush because i feel like rushing it's just literally just going to make you break down, okay? So really take your time with whatever this is. Really take your time with it because you are moving forward. Look at that. Beautiful. A new start. So instead of being the Knight of Swords where you are kind of rushing, 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 everything has to be done right now, this is where you need to be. You need to just slowly move towards the, um, the forward movement. Slowly move towards the project that you want to do. Slowly move towards that relationship you want to manifest. Because it's going to be fine. And the clouds are going to clear and it's all going to be good. Okay? And just really have patience with yourself. Because it seems like you're going through quite a lot right now. This is it. This is a tranquility. Relaxing. Have a spa day. Have a chill out day. Yeah, because you might feel like you're going backwards, but you're not. It's just a slower time right now for you guys. Okay, let's see what else you want to have for 777. Control. A lot of you guys have control issues. <laughs> okay, a need for control. I need to know what's going on. I need to. I need to know what's happening, guys. It's okay. You. you oh my god. <laughs> you are <laughs> patience. Oh, this is tea. This is the ultimate tea right here. This is um Virgo and Capricorn. Very very strong earth signs. Very deep earth signs. Ones who feel a lot. Ones who feel so much. Both in Jupiter as well, which is really interesting. Another earth sign. Taurus, <laughs> moon in Taurus, exaltation. This is happiness, okay? This is a completely different energy to these two. So what is basically happening is you just need to let go of the control and have patience and this will manifest into beauty because what it's basically saying is why are you feeling overworked? Why are you feeling anxious? Why are you feeling stressed? All these, all these emotions are coming up as signals for your body to telling you slow the F down, slow down, really, really put on the brake, put on the handbrake. I'm seeing you guys like going like like speeding past and then I'm just grabbing the handbrake and just pulling it back like stop, calm down. Nothing needs to be done right this moment but it doesn't mean that it's not happening. It just means that you guys need to have a different reaction to whatever is going on. It's not a different reaction, like have a more calm reaction to it, okay? Really, really be calm with yourself and you are manifesting the good stuff, so... Yeah, could be an argument with somebody, could be an argument with a partner, sibling, that sort of thing. So it's okay, guys. Just take some deep breaths and acknowledge and release these emotions. I acknowledge part of me feeling pissed off at, you know, my partner being annoying. <laughs> and I choose to let these feelings flow right now. And you put your hand on your heart, take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. And then look kind at yourself like you would a child. I look at my right shoulder. You look wherever you want. And release those emotions. Because they're there for a reason. And that's okay. It's all coming up for a reason. Some of you guys want to escape. This could literally just be meditating. Just literally meditating. And just 
chilling, having a creative, creative escape, doing something creative. Yep, so a lot of you guys are actually going to get a lot of um, benefit out of this. I know it seems a bit dark and kind of depressing, but a lot of you guys are actually understanding yourself on a better level because of what's happening. And it may think you may think you want a certain way, but actually the way it's going to pan out may be a little bit different. But a lot of you guys want to have like a conventional, stable relationship, which is pretty much what we all want. But you guys are really going towards that. And if anything you're ambitious about, you do have the potential to get there. And your spirit guides are really, really helping you. The gorgeous fluorite card and then let's get one more if you ever want a crystal in one of these cards then you just let me know and i will create that for you i'm working on crystal jewelry this is one of my pieces here this is a rose quartz bracelet i tucked in the ends because they keep bashing against my table um but this is one of my bracelets i love it and then we have tiger's eye solar plexus this is you feeling confident with yourself and really connecting with that beautiful energy and then have trust trust that things are going to happen in your favor it's going to be fine guys okay let's get some more dice 777 i keep getting a house i keep i keep seeing a house so something to do with your house is changing right so we have second house aquarius jupiter this is massive expansion to do with your material possessions and the way you see your material possessions um this could also be that you're um uh, giving things to charity, giving things away, um, putting things in the bin, you know, clearing out stuff, clearing out and um, having a different reaction to your environment and really making your place very tranquil and calm. Light some candles, put on some nice music. Maybe if you've got a salt lamp, put a salt lamp on, put some, uh, oh my God, there's a really beautiful cat outside. Oh, she's so beautiful. It's like a, like a ginger and white cat. That is beautiful. Might be a message for you guys as well. Uh, I think she's eating the bird food. <laughs> that is so funny um yeah so a lot of you guys are really kind of trying to create that tranquil space and you will get there okay so thank you so much for watching this reading if you would like to purchase a private reading all my information is down below i have some past life readings available so they will be down below also and if you ever want to inquire about jewelry i don't have a shop yet but if you ever want to purchase jewelry you can i just don't have a shop yet okay thank you so much for watching i'll speak to you very soon bye Hello number 888, let's get started with reading, let's see what you are manifesting, why you keep seeing the number 888, let's have a look and see what you are manifesting, I don't know why I did that, for some of you guys watching opera, I don't know, for some reason I got that, ooh, beautiful, pleasure, number 9, lovely, so number 9 could also be your number, we have, I bet we're going to, I bet the other one's going to be love, I really feel that, no, nope, persistence, damn it, I thought it was going to be love. I was like, oh, I'm going to be really excited. Look how beautiful these, these plants are. Really like pink energy though. Digital detox. Recalibrate, reset and recharge. Lovely. So this is basically saying to um, kind of give to yourself. Um, this could be in like an intimate way, but this can be also to do with, um, I thought I saw a butterfly, but it wasn't. But maybe butterflies are a big um, synchronicity for you. Look out for butterflies. Obviously, look out for number 888, as you have been. Um, you are really, you're going for a really open process. So your, your, yourself is opening up. And basically, it's magnificent. It's beautiful. It's this bird of paradise. What a stunning, stunning flower. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Very, like, bright. So I feel like you're in, your insides, <laughs> sounds really weird, you're saying your insides are coming outside so all the um all of your power all of all the power that you have been like conjuring up all of this power that you haven't been wanted to release and and let people see that is what you're coming out with you're really rebirthing into that beautiful energy and it can take a bit of time you know especially if we're manifesting something so big so for a lot of you guys the advice here is to take a digital detox um manifest uh, not manifest I mean yeah obviously manifest I meant to say meditate <laughs> meditate get out in nature if you can watch some sloth videos I don't know I love sloths I, I would I would literally watch a sloth video every single minute of the day because they're so cute I mean I probably wouldn't probably not good uh like worth my time but <laughs> you know um also 11 11 on the clock there as well and one one and two two very significant but it says to recalibrate reset and recharge so basically it's saying for you to um, slow down, okay? And to possibly do some artwork, do some cr something creative, even if it's not something artsy, maybe if it's like, I don't know, painting your house, moving furniture around, anything like that, 
that could be something that could help you to concentrate on something that isn't like social media stop listening to the news guys stop watching the news it's negative i mean obviously do it if you want to but i don't like the news i don't think it's worth my while i think if i need to know something somebody will tell me but i just think you don't need to know what's going on every single day every single minute of the day it's not healthy you need to focus on your world because you're the most important person it's only if you get overwhelmed by it if you're fine watching it whatever that's fine but it can impact on mental health you've got to be conscious of who you're following on social media do they make you happy even if you see them like once a week on your feed and every time they, they trigger you and you think i don't like this person or you get a weird sensation you get an anger you get frustration delete them from your Instagram because you don't need them on there because you need people and you need <clears throat> positive influence okay literally could just be deleting a couple of apps you don't have to delete your account just deleting the apps and giving yourself that space to think for yourself okay <clears throat> I love this though this is really you coming into a lot of love in your life could be manifesting some love too I'm also manifesting a really beautiful relationship with yourself and knowing that actually you don't need anyone but look at this as I say that, this is the ultimate family life. This is being in a beautiful relationship. What did I just say? Absolutely beautiful. Yep, you're feeling really, really powerful. Persistence. Persi per persist with you. Persist with yourself because look at what you are manifesting, guys. Ultimate stability. 888 is stable. It's stability as well. It is stability. Could be with a, um, a fire sign as well. You could be the fire sign also. So you may think, I'm not going to manifest a relationship. You may think, I'm not going to manifest friends. I'm not going to manifest anything that I want. Not true. You are really balancing yourself out. As long as you're focusing on yourself and you're focusing on what makes you feel balanced, what makes you feel good in that moment, there is no harm whatsoever. I keep looking in at these um, flowers at the back of these cards. It really reminds me, like a ro I think it's a rosette or something. Really reminds me of that. So I feel like you do have everything you need within you. And I know it sounds very cheesy. And you probably heard it before. And you're like, Vicky, I don't get it. <laughs> Basically, you're going to find it. Okay. You are releasing anything that no longer serves you. You're manifesting a really gorgeous start. And you're a lot of you guys are starting a new um, career. A lot of you guys are starting a new, maybe not yet, but you are starting a new career. You're starting a new path. Beautiful. Stability could be quite slow, but you're going to get, you're going to get it. And when I say slow, it literally can take a little while to manifest, but whatever is worth manifesting will get you. You'll get there. You'll, you'll get there. Okay. Yep. Releasing, could be releasing an earth sign as well, but could be actually manifesting an earth sign also. Could be a friend, could be a, a co-worker, could be a partnership. Yeah. You may be reluctant to let this go guys, but just really take the time to focus on yourself because look at this massive tower moment. What's after the tower? Perfect. That is perfect. You have two aces. You have one to do with emotions, one to do with sexuality and um, like action. You have two tens. Um, oh my God, you have like two cups. So you have ace of cups, ace of wands, 10 of cups, 10 of wands. That is so synchronistic. Holy, holy mother. Oh my Lord. I was trying not to swear then, could you tell? <laughs> oh my god, I, I, I slow down my swearing on YouTube because I know that I ain't supposed to be swearing, but somehow I just can't help myself, I just can't help myself. Lovely, ultimate stability. Love it. And then have, ooh, you're gonna have a lot of choice. Love that. So if you're thinking, Vicky, I don't have any choice right now, you're gonna get it, you're gonna have it, you're gonna manifest it submission so this is always an interesting card it comes up quite a lot okay and it is venus in pisces so it's a very soft energy this bird is like i can't get out i can't get out the door is literally open right there and i can't get out can't get out you have the opportunity to get out you have the opportunity to manifest what you want you just need to believe that you can get it and sometimes oh my god look choice where well, i say you've got choice um Roses could be very significant for you as well. So look out for roses. I'm hearing a lot of you guys are playing Animal Crossing and are planting roses. <laughs> could be that you're actually planting physical roses, but you're getting a lot of resourcefulness. Number four is all about stability. Concrete foundations. And then we also have, give me the card. Give me the card. Excitement. Oh my God. Yay. And then we have um, domination and vision. So you don't have to be hard on yourself to get what you want you you can just the more you let go of egotism the more you're going to manifest what you want okay guys and then let's get one more card 
hematite, mental strength, perfect. That's all we need to know right there. Feeling really, really strong within yourself. Hematite's a beautiful crystal for um, overthinking. So if you're overthinking, hematite is beautiful to get. We then have Leo, first house moon. So you're becoming really passionate with your, your um, drawing in your passions. You're being really like forthright with your passions. You know what you want. You are connecting with yourself and you're being really like powerful with your manifestations, okay? You're really knowing what you want and you're pushing that forward into the, into the ethers and you're saying, look, this is what I want. I'm going to get it, okay? Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. I had 17, 17 on the clock there. And I also do a past life reading. So if you want a past life reading, all my information is down below. I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number 999. Let's get started with your reading. Let's have a look and see what 999 represents okay so i mean in the uk it means like the emergency number we that's not what it is <laughs> okay so let's see what your overall energy is we have atlantis healing wisdom is surfacing stop and listen that is so beautiful look at this card that is that's so lovely so pretty so a lot of you guys could be water signs watching this as well um a lot of you guys could be going through a really big spiritual awakening right now as well um, okay, so let's see what else we have. We have friendship and we have truth. I, heard, I read that as trust. So maybe it's to do with trusting friendships as well. We have simplify and synchronicity. I mean, obviously you're here for the synchronicity of 999. You could have a synchronicity of uh, 8, 9, 10, 11. You could have 111, uh, 2, 3, 1, 4. Okay, those could also be your other numbers as a synchronicity. So there could be a truth coming out of your friends. It could be like, I just want to move forward with my friendships. It could be like, I want new friendships. I want different friendships. It could be that you're, the truth around your relationships and things is coming out. So maybe you're changing the way you assert yourself in relationships. You're changing the way um, you see your friendships and your relationships. And I love how healing wisdom is surfacing. So a lot of your, a lot of healing is coming through through friendships. It could be through a truth of a friendship as well. Um, it could also mean that truths are coming out with a friendship that you don't like anymore or a friendship with a person that you don't like anymore and it's calling for you to have like a break from them or part from them which is obviously what sometimes we need to do if we need to move forward um, but it's basically just telling you that new things are coming in. you could have friendships coming in as well if you want some new friendships um, the way you trust as well I feel like is changing as well the way you see trust the way you trust people all that kind of jazz okay so let's see what else we have Wells uh, group number 999 needs to know okay so you could be having a you could be meeting somebody like a new person like if you're single um, it could be you're flirting with somebody that you already know okay I actually this is the first the only group that I've started without using the tarot so that's interesting so a lot of you guys are possibly wanting to be unconventional or conventional um, but I do feel like for a lot of you you want to manifest something and it's basically out of your control right now um it could be an energy of okay i just want to travel or i just want a relationship that sort of thing or i want to have uh stability in my home where maybe like a pipe has burst or i don't know something like that it's like i just want to feel comfortable and you will have that control you will have that back for a lot of you guys it feels quite like a massive wind is coming forward like here we have the trees and they're kind of being like blown away so it's almost like everything's kind of out of your control right now but it doesn't mean it's a bad thing because you at, at when we relax and when we uh, surrender to that moment um, anything is possible basically and it's basically saying for you to simplify things and have patience because you may be rushing into things or maybe rushing at a thought of doing something and actually you just need to simplify it and not make it so complicated for yourself um, and actually what you're thinking of may be really complicated and actually it's really really simple to do whatever that thing is um, and with synchronicity you'll probably be getting a lot of three as well a lot of three synchronicities you could have three friends who you really connect with and you're possibly um, giving money to charity you may be um, really connecting with yourself and what what you need um, you being the charity but obviously that's not a bad thing it's basically like you're giving to yourself you're attending tending to yourself it could be closer to your children as well if you have children it could be closer to your family right now um, and where you're in where we're in more close proximity this is a timeless reading but when I'm uh, filming this uh, you could be in quite close proximity to your family and therefore your a lot of healing is coming through with your truth about how you connect with your family members and how your relationship is changing with them 
So we have idealism. There is a lot of new things that you want to manifest. This is a sun in Aquarius. So it could be a, a spiritual venture. It could be starting a spiritual group. Um, you could be meeting some friends through some spiritual groups. There may be a bit of drama in your life as well to do with people. It could be three people as well here. This is the Mercury in Leo. So it could be to do with a Leo. It could be somebody who has Mercury in Leo. Um, but it could also be someone trying to control the situation or you're creating this drama just because you want to control it, okay? So this doesn't have to resonate with you guys. If it does resonate, then obviously take just take it as it resonates, guys. It's going to be different for everybody as this is a general reading. We do have a lot of kind of communication coming forward in this reading, though. Like a lot of communication keeps coming through. It feels like conflict and communication for this group, which is really interesting. Um, and you're trying to kind of just get away from it. And you're possibly for some of you, you're taking control of the situation or you're wanting to. But all this is happening for a reason. All this is happening... Um, because you are looking inward, you are, and this is reflecting. This is reflecting on what's going on your in on, on your in on in the inside. So, you are basically um, learning to let go of conflict within yourself. The way you see yourself, you're learning to let go of that conflict, and you're learning to work together with yourself and possibly with other people. We keep getting number three. Look how similar those two are with that three. That's so interesting. The three and the three. Maybe you're going to get something to do with career um, and money. You may be having conflict about your career as well, um, not knowing where to go. It may be causing a lot of drama within your family. So just make sure to have a little think about it. Don't stress out. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> you have the sun card. So that Leo energy is going to be transmuted into something really, really positive. Okay. We have three of cups as well. Beautiful. This is in the reverse. So you're not, going to, not, not there yet for some of you, but you are going to get there. And then we have the seven of cups choice you are going to know where you're going it's just choosing that right path we have justice wheel of fortune and the nine of swords so this is basically for all of you who are just feeling anxious that nothing is happening you are having a massive change and you're going through this pain or confusion for a reason so you can shift forward so you can release anything that no longer serves you that no longer feels good for you okay you see what else we have perfect so like peace this is beautiful this is actually the crystal i have here it's gorgeous selenite i absolutely love this i love love selenite look how gorgeous that is the way it like shines so so pretty it's a very very calming crystal it's actually really good for your intuition as well as it is for the crown chakra um so yeah it's really really beautiful guys and if you want that in a crystal form, if you want that in, sorry, in jewellery form, you guys let me know. Instagram message me or email me. We also have to teach heart chakra. So your, your heart chakra is being taught right now. Being taught how to assert yourself, possibly how to deal with drama, how to deal with, um, how to bring peace to your life. There's a lot of truths coming out and I feel like it's probably quite overwhelming, but you're going to be fine, guys. You really are going to be fine. I'm going to give you some extra advice here. I feel I need to give you some extra advice. So let's do that. We're the only group that needs... I feel the need is extra advice. So what else have we got here? That just sums it up, doesn't it really? Letting go. Beautiful. Let's get, yeah, I do feel like letting go of friendships is quite a big thing. Blue is definitely for you guys. So your, your throat chakra is really possibly feeling it. Could be getting a lot of pain in your throat. Doesn't always mean that you're ill, have the flu or anything. It can just mean that you just need to communicate. We need to sing. Could be singing, could be omming beautiful problem resolved perfect i love that so stop and listen because there's definitely a lot of wisdom coming through here can we get one more <laughs> moving forward fearlessly that is absolutely beautiful i love this deck it's my my first deck that i had i stole it off my mom <laughs> but uh it obviously oh my god we have friends again definitely making new friends guys very very strong message for you guys so uh, butterflies are obviously really, really prominent for you guys as well. So really look out for blue butterflies especially. And I'm obsessed, obsessed with Animal Crossing right now. It's a Nintendo game and there's a lot of blue butterflies and I love them. <laughs> so that's extra clarification for you guys who like Animal Crossing and things like that. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. That really helps me with my video getting seen. Also, if you want to subscribe, if you haven't already, please do. And if you would like to um, get a private reading, I do past life readings. They're added extra to um, my rates. And yeah, all the information is down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.